All right. I don't know where I left you off, but uh, what I did is uh, I uh, I probably left you off on the other side, but uh, this side here with the cam loop sticking out, I uh, I threw some epoxy on there and then molded it in a little bit. It looks like it might not even need a, a second coat, you know. Once I uh, sand that out, actually looks pretty good to me. But uh, let me turn it over and I'll show you what I had sanded. Now here's the other side. Uh, where I left this off, you've probably seen where I put all the epoxy. Well, I sanded it down and it smoothed it out. I still need a skim coat across the whole thing, but when I just stood behind there, I, I filled in some holes over here. But uh, I can't, I can't give it a skim coat and finish it yet because we still have to do some welding on this, and that that might uh, compromise that epoxy. Uh, we have to put a an oil fill right here in the top, so that's it's a good distance away from this if we. If we cool that with a rag, it might be all right. But if it compromises, I'll just redo it. I'm not worried about it. But uh, that's where we're at. Now all I have to do is is in between the cylinders, clean that all up and uh, epoxy that. I should I should be able to do that without uh, anything getting compromised. We do we do still have a little welding to do on the, on the block on the inside, but that shouldn't uh, shouldn't affect up there. But uh, this, this end block is what I'm worried about because, like I say, right here we're going to put the wheel fill and have to weld a, something on there. All right, let me uh, continue working and uh, we'll show you we'll show you what we got going. Here's something interesting. Here's the here's the flywheel we're going to use for cooling on the other side. This is uh, off a compressor from the 1970s, probably around 75 or so. But I, I got this one was bent, so I, I ordered a new one. Let me show you this. Here's the new one. They both they both work, and they both look similar. But this this old one is uh, about twice as heavy. I don't know if you can see the thickness here, but it's it's about twice as thick, twice as wide. Even the fan blades. You know, the fan blades aren't as thick either. You know, these here are about a, an easy quarter inch. These here are probably, I don't know, just over an eighth. And like I say, this one this one here probably weighs about uh, maybe 12, 15 pounds. And this one here is probably about about eight. But it'll, it'll work. It'll do what we want. You know, if, it, if we were using it for a hit and miss, we would have liked the, the weight of this one, you know. But it's not going to be a hit and miss. So it shouldn't affect us any. But I thought that was interesting, you know. Same flywheels, just you know, it's just how they're making stuff cheaper now. Ridiculous. All right, enough of this, eh? All right, it's been a couple days. I haven't done anything to this, so uh, the epoxy hardened. It only takes eight hours to harden, but like I say, it's been a couple days, and I, I sanded it today. It came out pretty good. Let me tilt it up here a little bit. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but uh, it's actually all perfectly smooth. And uh, this side here is pretty much done. However, the other side here, it's uh, pretty close to done. I still have to put a skim coat on there, but I'm not going to go any further because we still have to uh, drill a hole and uh, weld in a, an oil fill here. And I don't. I don't want it to compromise more or epoxy than it has to, but I still have to uh, do it in between the cylinders. So, plus we have a little welding on the bottom of the deal. But uh, once once we weld that in, we might do that today. Uh, I'll be able to finish the sides anyway. All right. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but uh, we'll call it uh, we'll call it done for now. All right, all right, guys. I don't know where I left you off at. I don't know if it's going to be in the middle of the video or it's going to start a new one or what. But uh, here's what we're going to do today. I uh, I cleaned up uh, in between the cylinders in here. I don't know how well you could see it, you know, because it is kind of shiny. But uh, I, mean, I don't know if the light's going to help you any. Probably make it worse, huh? Yeah, looks like it makes it worse. See, it looks it looks good when I'm looking at it with the light, but then. I look in the viewfinder here and it looks like hell, so 
I think you I think you're better off without the light. But anyway, I'm, uh, we're going to fill that in. We're going to do the body work there, and it doesn't have to be that good because you're really not going to see it once once this thing's together. But uh, we're going to make it look decent anyway. And uh, I don't remember if I showed you this side, but uh, this side's pretty much done. It came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. But what we did, I don't know if you noticed while I was talking, we, we put the, the oil filler on here, on the end here. See, now that's an actual Briggs oil filler for the, for the oil pans, and we just cut one off, and we're going to install it up there and make a dipstick. Here's the, the little nut that goes on there. But... I'm not. I'm not too happy with the size, but I don't know if you can tell. But the, that thing, that thing sticks up pretty, pretty good. You know, and it, it kind of looks awkward to me. But I'm just. I'm, I'm going to take a little bit off, just maybe about a quarter inch. And because uh, if you look at it, I'm going to. Another thing is, the nut won't go on because it's hitting a fin. But that's not a problem. We knew that before we welded. We knew that was going to do that. We didn't want. We didn't want to stick it out too far. You know. We wanted it almost straight. It does have a little, a little slight contour to the, to the outside, just so it, uh, you know, give it a little bit of look. But we knew we were going to have to cut that fin. It's only going to, it's only going to be very minimal, and you won't see it because the shroud covers all that. But if you look at the nut, let me turn it upside down so you can see that with the nut on top of it, it's it's even higher, you know. So I think if I shorten it up a little bit, aesthetically it'll look a little better. But also what we got to do is, uh, when uh, we put that on there, I don't know if you notice it, but it's like on a corner, so you really can't drill a hole the size you want because you don't know what it's going to look like. It's probably going to be oblong on one side. So what uh, Mike did, if I shine inside the piston here, if you look in there, there's only a tiny little hole. And I got I got to widen that hole, but I got to do it without messing up the threads. I might uh, I'll probably drill a little bit from the top here until I get close to the threads and keep widening it. And then uh, I'll go from the bottom with uh, a die cutter, you know, one of these. So uh, I'll show. I don't have much room on the bottom. Let me turn it over and show you. Right, we're looking at it from the bottom there. It's right in the corner. I need the flashlight now. And right there, that looks like uh, about a quarter inch hole. And I'm going to have to widen it up to maybe about uh, maybe five eighths or maybe a little more. So, but like I say, there's there's no room to stick a, a drill gun in there. I don't really have a long bit. If I had a long bit, it would be no problem, but I don't have a long bit. So another thing, what we're going to do, this is uh, the reason we're using this is because this is this is an actual Briggs. Where you at? This is an actual Briggs. Uh, plug, you know, Mike likes these high, high crown bolts and I do too. What we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in the center here and then just put a, a big long stick for whatever size we need and that'll be our dip, st dip stick and mark where we need it. So that's what that is. Yeah, that's uh, that's almost a half inch just the bolt head and then when you add the little fiber washer and everything it's up over 5 eighths so you know, it's uh, sticks up quite a bit. All right, let's uh, let's work on that and see what uh, see what we can do with it. All right, I was able to widen that hole down there. Came out pretty good. It's, uh, I didn't I wasn't, didn't touch a thread either. I was gonna set you up so you can watch me do it, but there just wasn't enough room with the the light and the tripod and the camera and my hands and the, and the grinder, so I had to do it without you. All right, let's uh, let's try and uh, shorten that spout. All right, I wrapped me a piece of paper around there, trying to trying to get it as level as possible because that is a machine surface and it has to match up with the the bottom of the bolt, you know, to create a seal. A lot of the old timers don't know what I was trying to do with that piece of paper there, trying to get it round. But not, I think that's a little tapered and it's it's not perfectly round. But I'll probably wind up having to play with it with a file and uh, do it by hand anyway even if it you know it might that even might catch on fire or something so I'll, like I said I'll probably wind up doing it by hand all right let's try and cut it off and see what happens all right that worked out well I didn't hit the paper 
See now I just have to grind that little tiny bit off until it comes down and meets the paper. In the front there, it's just, just barely touching. And the back. Alright, let me uh, let me get the grinder out. Alright, I put me a new stone on here to give me a fighting chance to try and get it as level as possible. That's uh that much less file and I'll have to do. Okay. Alright. I took a little notch out of the fin there. Didn't take much. And uh the single fit in there nice. But uh see like right now it's tightening up. I'm gonna have to clean them threads up. Here's a tap I don't think I've ever used before. A five eight eleven. Pretty uh pretty substantial threads there. But uh you see, it goes in, with no problem, it then just stops here, so, let me, uh, let me chase them and clean them up a little bit, and, and uh, then, we'll, then we'll be able to flatten out our uh, thing there. Alright. Alright, by looking at that, you know, it almost looks kind of hacked up, you say, man, that ain't even close, you know, but uh, I didn't grind it yet, well, I did grind it, I grind it, grind it down to uh, the, the white line, which is uh, my mark. And I, I chased the threads and everything, but like I say, it, it don't look like it's close. But then, look at it. how nice that goes in now. Look at that. You spin it all the way down to the bottom. And I gotta say, man, that's pretty goddamn close, huh? Now I just gotta get a file and uh, file it perfectly flat, and we'll be good to go. Alright, let's do that. Alright, we filed it down flush. Almost looks like a machine finish, it's so nice. The file is your friend, kitties. Don't be afraid to file anything. Let's put it on there. I'm trying to look at the camera and look at the hole at the same time. Can't be done. Look at that. Look how nice that goes in. I hate to pat myself on the back, but I might have to. Nobody else here to do it. Yeah, it came out pretty good. Let's uh, take this tape off, see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that'll look good. Once I do the body work around that uh, flange and everything, man, that'll look, uh, that'll look like Briggs and Stratton did it. Alright. Let's continue on. I might even put the dipstick in, I'm not sure. Alright. Alright, I got this thing pretty cleaned up inside in between these cylinders. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that great a job in there, but it, it, it's not seen anyway. But uh, I, will, I'm, I am going to make it smooth and Get rid of all the cracks and crevices. I cleaned the, the filler up here a little bit and it actually looks good, you know. Fits in, it fits there nice. Alright, let me slap some putty in here and uh, or epoxy, whatever you want to call it, whatever that shit is. And, and that way uh, it can harden up overnight and I can, I can do something tomorrow. Alright. Alright. We're all finished gooping this up. I did, let me see if I can tip this back here. I did in between the cylinders there. I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. It may look a little lumpy and bumpy now, but I haven't sanded it. I just threw the shit on there. And then uh, threw a quick uh, skim coat on the, on the side here. You know, so I haven't sanded any of this. But I'm happy the way it came out. I'll grab a flashlight so we can go around the back here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Actually, sometimes I say the flashlight makes it look worse. But uh, over here it looks good too. Even the filler. I decided to do the filler while we're out here. And that's going to that's gonna look good when I uh, finish sanding it and everything. It's going to look like Briggs put it on there. Alright, I'm going to throw this in the house overnight. Next to the heater. And I should be able to uh, sand it up tomorrow. And uh, hopefully it'll be finished. I probably have to do uh, little spots here and there, you know little voids but for the most part it's done all right let's throw it in the house I don't know if it's gonna be the end of the video or in the middle of the video or what but uh, if it's the end of the video we'll see you in the next one if it's not we'll see you in the next segment all right